guys, it's Harley Wood. So back in October, I went to the Iraq Veteran 8888 Range Day shoot, and I saw these. These are the C4 folding sights from Ultradyne. I will get these on the uh, workbench here in a minute and show you in a little more closer detail and go over some of the specs on them. One of the things that caught my attention though was how easy they are to adjust. The rear sight has 50 yard increments built into each click gives you a 50 yard adjustment starting at 200 yards. Now according to the manufacturer if you sight these in at 0.4 inches low at 50 you should be dead on at 200. So I'm exactly 50 yards from the target down there. I am going to go ahead and put these on and zero this thing in. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability here to shoot two to, to 600 yards, um, but I'm gonna post a link in the description below to a video that Ultradyne did where they actually showed this guy just being able to make his, his click adjustments and shoot at two, four, and 600 yards successfully. Let's go ahead and get these installed. Today's shooting footage is sponsored by Idaho Ordnance. They sent me a bunch of this stuff about six months ago, and I've almost burned through it all, haven't had a single problem. I'll post a link in the description below. Check them out. Check it out. All right, that was my first group. That's my second group. I'm actually an inch higher than where I want to be. I want to be 0.4 low, and I'm probably about 0.4 high. Um, I'm just gonna make some real quick adjustments, and then we're gonna shoot at this guy. All right, to make this adjustment, literally just push this guy down and unlock it, and then twist your post there. And I've moved back to 100 yards. I'm gonna freehand it on that uh, 12 by 18 piece of steel. Hit. All hits at 100 yards. All right, so that was super easy to sight in. And they sit 0.369 inches tall. They fit perfectly under a scope if you have something like what I've got here from Mercon Optics. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and go through some of the specifics of these optics. Okay, let's talk about this front post first. So that aperture that you see in the middle of the front post there is 12 MOA. They also have options for 8, 10, and 14 MOA versions. And this mounts to any standard 1913 Picatinny rail. It has 40 MOA of adjustment in half MOA per click increments. It has 28 MOA total elevation with one and a quarter MOA per quarter turn. And I mentioned earlier, and I kind of showed it a little bit, all you have to do to adjust this is push down on it and that unlocks it and then you can twist that front post. Let's take a look at this rear sight. There is actually a threaded aperture in the middle there. I'll take it out in a minute and show that to you. The one that comes with it is 0 0.07 inch aperture and they also have an option for 0 0.05 inch aperture. The windage adjustment on this is 40 MOA of total windage adjustment in half MOA per click increments. And the elevation adjustment is 18 MOA of total available adjustment. And I mentioned earlier this um, elevation knob here. So here is your windage. This is your elevation if you wanted to control it from your rear aperture. Let's get a different look at this and I'll show you exactly how that works. Here you can see the sight picture a little bit. Now I actually removed that little threaded aperture. It screws right into the back of the larger ghost ring there. And it also stows right here on the side of this elevation adjustment knob. So you can see if you had the 0.05 inch version, you could simply swap these out. Simply threads in and stows. 
Let's put it back up here. And there you go. All right, on the side here, you notice it's on two. That is your 200 yard adjustment. Here's 250, 300, 350, 400. And watch what's happening here. You can see it's raising it. 450, 5, 550, and 6. Now, this is calibrated for XM193 55 grain. Anything that's similar to that should function just about the same with these elevation adjustments. And let's talk about the price. So, depending on where you shop, they're going to be north of $200 up to $250. And that sounds like a lot. I have the Griffin Armament M2s, I have the Magpul uh, Pro sights, and I also have the Bobro Engineering Lowriders, and then the regular Magpuls, the old, uh, old school ones, the plastic ones. Um, those range anywhere from 160 up to 200 I think the, the Bobros are still the, the ones that hold out at 200 But these have quite a bit of additional engineering that most of those do not, so I hope you can kind of see the value there. Those are the Ultradyne C4s. I'm going to post a link in the description below to where you can get them. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Lots more videos to come, and we'll see you in the next one.